Hello and welcome to another episode of FIA Insider. My name is Paul and we're here in Monaco for race weekend with Formula E. And none of those signs say media briefing, but that is what we're headed to because we are a few hours away from the Formula E Gen 3 Evo car unveiling. So follow me as we go behind the scenes. Xavier, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It was very interesting to hear you speak in the media briefing. Fascinating to learn about all of the improvements of the Gen 3 Evo. What are the, the three improvements on the Evo compared to the Gen 3? The three main topics that we work on was first of all the bodywork to uh, implement all the aerodynamic efficiency. Second point uh, is the capabilities to use the front axle on traction, not only on, on the brake, but also on throttle. So that means that the car is now a full all-wheel drive car. And the last point is tires. We work with Hankook to, to improve the grip. Grip means performance. If you want to improve the total performance of the car, the global performance, you need also nice tires. So this is the three main topics that we work on. We've just come from the media briefing yeah. where we've had a sneak peek yes. at the Gen 3 Evo car. Yeah. How excited are you to see it out on the road? Hearing the people who've been working on the project from the FIA perspective, from the Formula E perspective, from Bruno's perspective of driving it as a safety car driver and also a development driver for this, the sheer excitement how proud they were all because yeah. they've clearly hit everything that they were trying to do which is this has to be efficient this has to be sustainable this has to be fast this has to be a great product for the fans Bruno was just like wow that was fast you know when someone who drives a safety car for a living for that person to say that that was quite something that got me excited I think the car looks great. Me too. <laughs> the relationship between FE and the FIA yeah. is obviously super important. It'd yeah. be great to hear how that relationship then works to building a very exciting car, therefore yeah. a very exciting race series. Day one from Formula E has been a combination of the FIA and Formula E because the two things have worked together from day one. That was season one, day one. We're now heading towards the Gen 3 Evo car and that relationship has been hand in glove ever since the beginning. very interesting and exciting to hear this all-wheel drive system being implemented. What are the real-world performance increases? Today we already have the possibility in fact, to use the front axle to regen the car. So on the, on the brake today we have the possibility to regen by 600 kilowatts. So now we will be able to, to use the front axle also uh, on throttle. The maximum power during the quality mode or uh, attack mode will be still 350 kilowatts but a part of that will be able to be on the front. That means a maximum 50 kilowatts. Having that system for the driver is going to make the car faster. How much faster? With the grip, the new bodywork with less drag, all wheel drive capabilities, we simulate uh, a gain of two second per lap, which is Jeez. massive, which is massive. If we have a look on the average um, situation, uh, it would be something like 1.7 uh, second per wow. lap. I can't wait to see the Evo out on track. I can't wait to see it tonight as well. Great to meet you. Thank you very much for your insight. Thank you. <laughs> so a couple of hours ago was the media briefing. We have met some fascinating people. We are now down at the Marina, an iconic backdrop for the official reveal of the Gen 3 Evo. So you ready? Because I am. Let's go. Here we are then in the Prince's collection with some icons of motorsport heritage. And in front of us, we've got a quick behind the scenes glimpse at the Gen 3 Evo. Have a look at how aggressive it is. It just looks the future of motorsport. Zoe, great to see you again. We now have the car here. So would you like to talk me through some of the key points that make this the Evo to the Gen 3 and what makes it so special? Yeah, of course. So first of all, what is the most uh, obvious modification? It's clearly the design of the car. We modify, in fact, all the front of the up, on the upper part of uh, this car 
to, to get it more efficient in terms of uh, aerodynamic, that means less drag. Inside, in fact, uh, the front monocoque, here you have the front powertrain, so an e-motor, and uh, it is something we, that we already use uh, on the current car during the break to, to regen the, the battery. And now for the Gen 3 Evo, we will use uh, this engine uh, for the traction. So on throttle, the driver will be able to have, in fact, a full all-wheel drive car on throttle. So all the four tires uh, will be completely new with more grip, um, which allow, in fact, a big gain in terms of uh, lap time. We will have something like uh, two seconds in Monaco. Uh, during the poly mode, so it's a massive one. We're going to see it drive through the Prince's collection right now. Yeah. So the first time we get to see it dynamically, the fastest accelerating FIA single seat to race car, all wheel drive, yeah. so much technology packed yeah. into this. I can't wait to see the future of Formula yeah. E. He's yeah. getting ready, so we should probably get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> looks great. But I mean, 1.8. I know. I want to see the star. I want to see the star. Yes. Yes. And there we go. The end of the day, and we are losing light. So we will leave it there. It's been amazing to go behind the scenes. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please like and subscribe. And if you want all of the technical data on the new Gen 3 Evo, then head into the link in the description. That's all for now. Take care, and I'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye.